morning guys it's Melissa with Tilted K Homestead um, this morning it's very cold and rainy out and I thought it was a good idea to do some baking today today I was gonna try my new bread maker that I got for Christmas um, Eric bought it for me and we really enjoy whole wheat bread so I was thinking that I was going to try making some whole wheat bread today. So let's take a look at this bread maker. All right. So I have a Cuisinart and I'm not really too up to date on all the brands, but this is the one that he bought me. It came with a recipe booklet and on the reverse side there's also an instruction booklet. So if you can see here, I'm going to open this up and it has the inside and this lifts out. You got to twist it and then lift. Okay, so here is the inside of our pan. And this is where the bread actually gets made. And there's a metal paddle that goes inside this pan, which mixes everything. And it also has a program. I read pretty much all the instructions, so I'd have an idea of what I was doing today. But <clears throat> this paddle, when it goes in there and mixes, it goes through a bunch of processes. It goes through a rising process after it mixes, and then it goes through a resting process. It mixes it again. So it will tell you and beep when you're supposed to take the paddle out, and then it'll do its last rise and then bake in this pan. So it actually rises vertically and bakes vertically. So this is the kind that I have. Let's see. It also came with this like key <clears throat> that you use to lift up when it's hot, when it, after it's ready. So you lift it up and you can pull the pan out of the bread maker. So I am going to get all of my ingredients together and I will show you that process um, as we're going along because I know it takes, I read for whole wheat bread, it takes about three hours for the entire process to go through. So I will keep telling you what steps we're doing and let you know how everything's going. All right, so I have all my ingredients together. Again, this is a basic whole wheat bread. Um, all your ingredients, according to the instructions that are in this book, need to be at room temperature and <clears throat> they have to go in a certain order. So I am going to actually start getting the ingredients in here, but one of the first things that I need to remember to do is put the paddle in. So there's a little slot in here and it fits right on there so i don't know if you guys can see that in there but the paddle is right inside all right so i am going to start getting this ingredients in there and the first thing on the list is water so this water needs to be at room temperature and it's a cup and a fourth of water then I need to put in my salt, which is a cup and a, uh, a teaspoon and a quarter, not a cup. Then we have our butter, which is cut up into little half inch pieces. This is about two and a half tablespoons of butter. So that's gonna go in here. After our butter, next on the list is our sugar. The sugar is two tablespoons. And the next thing that they tell you to put in is your flour. I have 
two and a half cups of whole wheat flour here. So I'm going to dump this into my pan. Made a little mess at the same time. All right, so the next thing that we need to put in here is our dry instant yeast. So we're gonna get that in there. All right. Now that all of our ingredients are in, we are going to put this into a bread maker. Okay, so this is what it looks inside the bread maker itself. So now you just close the cover and the bread wheat, the wheat bread, excuse me, <laughs> um, the program it says it's a delay start timer. So we need to find out which program on here and our whole wheat is program three. So you just push the button that says program three. And then once that is done, you're going to select your color of your bread. They have a light setting, they have a medium setting, and they have a darker setting. I'm going to go with the medium setting just to see what that looks like. Then the other thing that you're going to do is they have three different size loaves. Now I made the recipe for the largest loaf, so it's a two pound loaf. So we're going to pick two pounds. And then the next thing we do, we just hit the start button. And there is a light on here. So if I turn on this light, you guys can see that mixing in there. So we're gonna let that mix. And then I will come back when it <clears throat> gets to the next step and I will show you what's going on then. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. And I will be right back with the next step. All right, guys, I am back. <laughs> My daughter called, so I missed the first rise. The machine is doing its job, but I missed showing you guys the first rise. So now it's on the second kneading. So I'm gonna give you a look to see what that looks like and we'll show you inside as it's actually mixing it. So that looks pretty cool. It's actually all mixed and it's turned into a good size ball, dough ball. Um, so we're gonna wait until it actually gets to the next rise. All right, we are at the point where it's on the second knead and you can add in stuff if you'd like to. So right now I have it on pause and I'm gonna show you guys the inside so you can see what the dough looks like. I'm actually gonna lift up the cover so you can see instead of just through the window. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm actually gonna close the cover because during this second knead is actually the time where it says that you can add in things to your bread. I'm not going to add any nuts or seeds or anything. I'm just going to do the basic whole wheat bread. So I am going to <clears throat> unpause this and start the process again. It'll probably beep a couple more times and then it'll continue doing what it needs to do. Um, it probably has about another three hours on the bread itself and usually it doesn't specify in the book here but I'm guessing that the last hour of this process is the baking part but I'll let you know um, the other thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that although I'm talking about a Cuisinart bread maker and showing you this today I am not sponsored at all 
by Cuisinart. Um, this is just a video that I wanted to do today and bring you guys along to see how it works and see how the bread comes out. But right now we're still in the second knead process, so it's actually finishing up and then it will go into the next process of what it's supposed to do. All right guys, we are finally at that point in the process <clears throat> where we need to remove the paddle. So I am going to pause this and I am going to take my bread out, my dough ball. <clears throat> now it says just take it out. This time the paddle didn't get stuck in the dough, it's actually right here. So it says basically to just take the paddle out, reshape it back into a ball, and then we just put that back in to our baking pan. So now I'm going to take the baking pan and put it back into the bread maker, close the lid, and turn it on. So at this point, <clears throat> it has the last rise. <clears throat> so I was reading a little bit more into the book. And once that paddle comes out, this is the longest process. This is the last rise. And it will rise to the point where you can really see it into the window. So I will come back and show you that once the bread has risen all the way. So we have about two and a half hours. So like I said, I think it's approximately about an hour for the cooking time. So this needs to probably <clears throat> rise for about another hour and a half. All right, according to the bread maker, it says that it is now ready to bake the bread so the rising is done so i'm going to give you guys a look inside so you can see how it rose and then i will let it just bake so it looks like by the timer that's on here it's got about an hour and 40 minutes that it's going to bake So that's looking pretty good. So like I said, about an hour and 40 minutes, it's going to bake. And I just wanted to let you guys know that a couple of the things that I really like about this already is that it is really hands off. The other thing that I really like <clears throat> is that this is metal. The paddle that goes inside to mix the dough is all metal including the inside of the pan so it's all this shiny teflon material and it's pretty sturdy and nothing needs to be greased or oiled so that's one benefit the other thing that i really like is that because it's you just put the ingredients in and it's hands off that is a good thing because when you're in the house you can just run around and do whatever you need to get done you just need to listen to those beeps um, that's one of the downsides that I found is that if you have a lot of other things going on that you want to get done, you might miss the beeps. So like I said, I missed the first mixing and then it went into the rise, but it didn't seem to matter. Um, but the other thing too is with the paddle, you can also bake the paddle if you miss that part you can bake the bread with the paddle inside now you can do that you'll have a hole in the bottom of your bread but <clears throat> i don't think it would really matter too much all right guys our timer has gone off for our loaf of bread i'm going to open our bread maker here and i'm going to use the tool that they give us to lift up Oh, you guys really can't see. Let me turn you, reposition a little bit here. All right, so I use this tool to lift up the handle so that I can twist it. Remember your pot holder because this is very hot. 
Then I have another pot holder for the bottom of the pan so that I can flip it over and my loaf of bread slides right out. All right. So here is my loaf. It's still really hot. It says before you cut it, you should let it cool. I did expect it to be a little bit bigger. So we'll have to check on that. But it looks golden brown and it smells good. So I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit and then I will come back and show you guys what the inside looks like. And also I'm gonna test taste. All right guys, welcome back. I have let my bread cool enough so that I can get a slice from it. So that's what we're gonna do right now and I'm gonna give you guys a better shot of that. really good that's a big slice of bread it's still a little steamy inside but wheat bread is always pretty dense so if you have a good bread knife you can cut it pretty thin and that's pretty thin all right let's see how it tastes not bad. I think it needs a little bit more sweetness to it. I might try some honey next time. That might work. Um, but overall, I really do like this bread maker. Um, there's a lot more recipes that do come inside the booklet. So there are all different kinds of bread between rye, sourdough, although you do need to make a starter for it. Um, they do have a bunch of recipes. And they also have recipes in here for jam. They actually have a jam program that you can make. Apple jam, blueberry jam, strawberry jam, um, any kind of jam you want. But um, overall, I think it did well. Um, I'll have to look into why it might be my yeast. The bread didn't rise as well as I thought it would, um, and that might be why it's a little dense, but I will look into that. And like I said, I got this for Christmas, the first time I'm trying it out. Um, like I said earlier, we are not getting any promotions for this at all. So this is just something that I chose to do on my day off today and take you guys along with me. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it interesting and it inspires you to maybe check out a bread maker of your own. All right, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye.